Hi, uh, my name is Mirzad Kachian, and I would like to introduce uh, myself to you, and I would like to show you some of my interesting games. Um, uh, this first game I played back in 2006 in November. Uh, I met um, um, Eugene Perestein, an underground master from, um, from Boston, and um, it was a very decisive game. We played in last round at American Open, and the winner was getting basically everything. And since my opponent was half point ahead of me, and I needed to play for win only, and that's why I played um, the line, which I'm not really playing too often. But uh, most importantly, it was very interesting game and most complicated line. So we played Sicilian defense, national defense, national variation in Sicilian defense. E4, C5, another 3, D6. I'm going to kind of skip uh, first moves because it's but pretty much well known in the theory. There's many moves here from white side. Uh, so Eugene tried here f3, uh, which lead and it's called English attack in a uh, knight of defense. Um, the whole point of that setup from white side when white trying to prepare a uh, pawn storm on the king side. So what black supposed to do? They supposed to create control play on the on the queen side. E5. Also, possible way to play here from black side is to actually to play E6. Or try to play position more from Svenigan systems. But I really like to play. I like to play E5 because E5 is more Sicilian. It's more nice of style. Knight B3, Bishop E6, Bishop E3, Knight Bd7. So my move H5. It's, as you see, trying to prevent possible action uh, from white to push g4 and h4. The good, the, good say, the, the good thing, the good side of h5 move is, as you see clearly, black trying to stop any activity of white and the green side. The bad side of that move is it's still weaknesses, it's still creating some weaknesses on the king side. You know, many people... Uh, many people, it's kind of we have dividing camps, you know, many people, they love to play h5, many people saying, hey, I'm not going to do that since it's going to create some extra weaknesses on the king side. Why should we do that? Um, I start to play h5 uh, thanks to Grandmaster Topalov because he played a couple interesting games and I saw his games and I actually like it because it seems to me it's kind of two in one when black trying to play aggressive chess and also at the same time they're trying to play uh, more positional, prophylactic chess to prevent action from white side. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.